can you please at least acknowledge that you understand why I'm hurt? Oh, fuck you, Ellen. Fuck you and your fucking wedding. I'm hanging up on you now. Wait. Are you there? Put mom on. Oh, just put mom on the fucking phone. Cheese oh, and crackers. Are you fucking Siberia? I can hear you. Assholes! I can hear you! <laughs> you know I could hear what Ellen and Donnie were saying about me, right? I know what she has the right to. An invitation! I can't even come on that date! Mom! Mom! I can't! I am presenting my dis research at a conference. People who can decide the rest of my entire fucking life are going to... <sighs> but why couldn't the whore just ask me when I could come? No one could call me and tell me that they were picking a date. Oh my god. I cannot believe 
that you just said that to me. Mom, I gotta go. I gotta go. Mom, I am making dinner for, for someone. Oh, right. It, like, I really feel like telling you about my personal life at this moment. As if I had met someone, you think I would tell you about it now? Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what, Mom. If tonight goes well and we end up getting married, I'll be sure to send you an invitation in the mail with a pre-stamped RSVP card, okay? You can check off Prosta Primavera and Chocolate Mousse and mail it back to me. Oh, I am hanging up on you now. I love you. We'll talk tomorrow. It's not my fault. You give very clear directions. Oh, well, words are my business. Come on in, let me take your coat. What a lovely apartment. Oh, the glory of a sublet. I'm just so glad you could make it. Well, it was so nice of you to invite me. Well, once I heard what you were telling Amber, I was like, aw. I'm sorry, who's Amber? The cashier at Cafe LA. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm a big believer that milestones should be celebrated. Mm. I know it's a little odd. I mean, you never know with people in New York, but I am just glad you said yes. Well, why not? It's not like we're total strangers. I mean, how else is a person supposed to make friends, right? <laughs> well, it's really nice of you. I don't even think my husband and kids are doing anything for me. 
Oh, that's so stinky. I'm sorry. Well, if we relied on our families to take care of us, we would all be dead, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I do my part to take care of them. But honestly, lately I've been thinking, I don't know where they'd all be without me. Do they know that? Oh, who knows? Well, maybe they're planning a surprise party for you or something. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that would be a surprise. <laughs> well, my office manager will probably get me balloons. She's into balloons. Well, balloons are nice. Except for that they're killing all the fucking dolphins or something, right? I don't know. Are they? Yeah, we let them go and they're all pretty in the sky. And then they deflate or fall into the ocean and they choke the seals and they plug up the dolphins' blowholes. Well, that's horrible. I had no idea. Yeah, humanity is a fucking plague, man. Have a seat. I'll get you some cider. I love it myself. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> I hope you didn't get in any trouble. Oh, I'm... I hardly get a chance to cook for people anymore, so you're doing me a favor. Oh, well, I would love some cider. It's getting cold out. I won't miss that winter commute, I can tell you. Will you still come into Cafe Olay for your daily dose of cappuccino? <sighs> I'm not sure. I hope you like cinnamon.